What's up YouTube? Back in the garage. I wanted to uh, talk about some mods on uh, how to get to phase 3 for Euro Compulsion, which puts you at 300 uh, crank horsepower, supposedly according to their tuning charts. Um, more information can be listed on their website at eurocompulsion.com. That's a tune that I'm running with this car with a big turbo. Um, just wanted to go over some parts that I have on the car, um, how I got to where I am right now. Uh, there's not too many Fiats that, or Abarths that have that amount of horsepower. I'm sure there's a handful of people. Um, usually people are on their stock turbo. Right now, uh, as discussed in previous videos, I'm running a aftermarket turbo, um, which is a bigger turbo. Um, it's from Canada. Um, it's from Blast Performance. Uh, I'll leave it like a description in my stuff, you know, under the video for uh, details on that. The exact details, the exact size, all that good stuff. But I just want to go over what I had to do to get there. Um, it's kind of like an ATP where it's not really a direct bolt-on. You do have to fabricate, fabricate some stuff. Uh, some people had to fabricate other stuff, while other people had to fabricate different things. Um, a friend of mine in New York has the same type of turbo setup. Uh, we had to fabricate different parts, like some parts he had to fabricate, I didn't have to. Um, I did change my coolant return line, I mean my coolant, uh, no that's my coolant line um, that I had to replace. Uh, I just changed it to a different type of hose. Um, the oil line was fine, I didn't have to change that. The return line I did have to change and I still am dealing with a slight leak. Um, one of the bolts got a little stripped. Um, but other than that, I mean, knock on wood, that's so far uh, just the only issue I have is just that little uh, oil leak. Um, I wanted to go over a couple mods that I uh, have actually with the box to tell you what I got on it. Um, right now I am running an HKS uh, blow valve. Um, it's not bad. I did run into a couple issues with the spring being extremely, like, strong. Um, some people have the issue, some people don't, and I'll go over that in a second. Um, the V2, the version 2, if you can find one, has a softer spring. I don't know if it's adjustable, but this one is not. Um, a lot of people actually have that complaint about this version of the HKS, is that it, the spring is really freaking strong. Um, I also have a boost controller in the car. Uh, not so much to control boost, per se. Um, I mean, it obviously does control boost, but... I try not to tune it crazy because the truth is, is you know, that colliding with the program that I already or the tune that I already have from Euro Compulsion, I don't want to you know blow things up or go crazy on that. So that is tuned correctly. Um, it is uh, going to my wastegate. Um, I didn't change the spring out on Forge's wastegate because uh, I mean I probably will eventually. I mean I haven't ran any limp mode problems with uh, like. Um, like underboost or anything like that, so that's why I bought this was to solve the underboost issue, which um, was because my wastegate spring wasn't strong enough. I have the yellow one, I believe the blue is what's recommended for a bigger turbo. I haven't done the spring yet because the truth is, is the spring's twenty dollars and it comes to a set of three of them, but or either it's thirty dollars for a couple springs or it's twenty dollars for shipping, and I'm just not paying twenty dollars for shipping for a spring. Like that's just insane sorry but that's just me um so did that and i also have uh, the forge wastegate actuator which is great um there's some complaints on it as far as adjusting it correctly and whatnot uh, me personally if i would have known about uh the difference between this one and turbo smart i probably would have went with turbo smart that's just uh, from the reviews that i've been hearing about turbo smart it's easier to adjust it's a lot more uh, catered to the car apparently from a couple of reviews. Um, I am running their uh, boost leak fix, so that's why this one's kind of over here. I didn't really want to place it under. I just don't want to like crack any, you know, again the hose with the high temperatures. Um, but I am running the 4C coils. Uh, that's one thing. So it's 4C coils, HKS blow off valve, which you can't really see, but it's down there. Um, it's over there. You can barely see it right there. Sorry, there's not enough light. Let me see if I can get some light in there. It's, uh, it's down there. I mean, it's cool, you know, like, I, I wish that, the thing is, this turbo that I'm running does not have a um, connection like the stock turbo does, where it's on the turbo. Um, so, so there's that problem. Um, 
So that's why I had to run a different blow-off valve. Now, I did use a forged solenoid, which is right here, and it is pretzeled. Um, some people run into the, P, uh, the P2261 the code, which is uh, the diverter bypass valve, which I did run into. Um, I'm slowly kind of fixing that. I'm not saying that I don't get it. I do pop it every once in a while, usually stop and go traffic. Um, what I did that actually seemed to help so far was throw this vacuum tank. I know it's kind of stupid, but it's a vacuum canister and it just holds vacuum. I feel like maybe because of the spring being so strong um, that maybe it's dumping too much vacuum, like maybe it's dumping too much when it's, you know, when it relieves pressure and maybe the vacuum can't build up fast enough. Um, so I mean, that's just one theory of mine. I mean, so far it's worked for me, so I don't know if that's the case. I'm not saying like, I'm not a mechanic, I'm not technical on why that works or why that doesn't work. I understand how blow valve works. So. I just added some more vacuum to the car, that's it. Um, or more uh, volume for vacuum. Uh, so don't don't sit here in the comments and judge me on that. That's what's working for me right now, not throwing coats. So what works for me might not work for other people, but that's just what I did. Um, I did go off of the pretzel that they said to do, uh, and there's that. Um, yeah, so, so anyways, so back to it. So I got the MGK spark plugs, which I'll probably switch back to brisk because I did run brisk for a while. It's just the, uh, I mean, for the amount I drive, it is a daily driver. So uh, MGK is what I went with um, just because you don't have to replace them as frequently. I mean, granted, on phase three, you're supposed to replace the spark plugs after every other oil change. And you're supposed to clean the filter every oil change. Um, yeah, I got lazy and I haven't put my uh, air compulsion one back on yet. Um, but... Uh, yeah, so that, that's that. Um, like I said, I was running boost controller, so there's some vacuum lines in weird places. Um, but yeah, so so in general, I mean, would I say a turbo swap's worth it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you are getting some good power out of it. Can you stay phase two? Yeah, I think you can stay phase two and you don't need to go phase three. Um, if you're looking for power, yeah, sure, phase three is all, you know, that's great. I run a phase zero for daily driven. And then if I want to step on it, I'll run phase three. I'll switch it off onto sport mode, which is phase three, uh, which is great that the Fiat gives you an option to be able to put in like a sport mode or whatnot. Um, I do have uh, uh, the downpipe that I'm using. It works with a stock turbo and it works with this turbo. Um, I'm using a Road Race Motorsports downpipe, which is a 2.25 um, to a, and I think it's a 2.25 to a 2.5 outlet. Uh, don't quote me on that, but their website has their information. Um, supposedly it's supposed to help with bottom end torque. Um, so that's like the difference between the 2 and then the 3 inch. Um, so I, am running, I still have my oil catch can off at eBay. Works great. Catches a little oil, not too much. Um, it is hooked up to my PCB system, not through the intake. Um, if I was going to do the intake, which I am thinking about doing, it just run a separate catch can. So that's that. Um, but I want to go over phase three because the truth is, is no one's really talked about phase three. Um, oh, one more thing. I do have an intercooler, just like some off-brand intercooler. My intake temps are good. So I have checked that. Um, it's only about 10 degrees to 15 degrees difference. Um, so it does run pretty decent. Um, so anyways, back to phase three. People haven't really discussed it, and I will put up a video about driving with it and how that works, and maybe like a video of, you know, pass bys and stuff like that. But uh, phase three, no one, you know, there's no reviews on it. So I want to go ahead and give you guys a review on it. Phase three. So here we go. Um, is it worth it, first off? Is it worth it for the extra money point that you have to spend on top of the tune that you already have from your compulsion? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and here's why um, if you're running a big turbo, you know, certain fuel parameters or other things that you have to run to get, you know, the power that you're looking for and they tune it for that and they tune it safely. And so that's, that's my big thing. I mean, I've had other people say, well, my buddy went phase three and it blew up. Yeah. I mean, generally me, me thinking about it, like my brother had a car completely stock is in a bar. He goes, drives around the corner, engine blows up. You don't really know if your engine's going to blow up. I mean, the, I mean, well, there's signs of it, of course, but like you just don't. It's kind of like playing with fire. You don't know, and you might get burned, but you may not get burned. Um, like I said, he drove around the block, boom, his car blew up. Like, it, the piston in cylinder three failed. So, I mean, in my opinion, if you know you're leaking oil, you know you're burning oil, you know you're burn, burning coolant, stuff like that, yeah, don't go phase three. Obviously, it doesn't make sense. 
If you have a healthy engine and you think your engine's healthy, then I say give it a shot. Now I'm not saying it's not gonna blow up, so don't, don't go over here going, well you said this, yeah, no. Not saying that, depends how you drive. If you drive it hard, of course you're gonna have run into problems and things breaking. Like uh, your compulsion, I think is saying that they're clutch, they're, they have the stock clutch in it and it's still lasting. Now it walks a thin line, of course, but it's still working. Um, it just, it really depends on how you drive your car. If you drive it like you stole it every day, well yeah, you're gonna have to be replacing parts. Like I've blown through my axles before, just doing a quick freeway pull. Like those things are gonna happen. I mean, if you're, you, the more power you're putting into a vehicle that comes stock 160 horsepower, you're doubling that, of course you're gonna have issues with it. So just, just a warning for that. Um, but talking about phase three, the differences. Well, when I first went for a pull, uh, I was like, wow, this is, you know, I don't know, it feels like phase two. Now, don't get wrong, the bottom end torque felt, you know, more torquey. But other than that, I was like, eh, it doesn't really feel like, you know, phase three is worth it. But then I stepped on in and got past 4K, and holy crap, at 4K, well, I say this car freaking pulls. Um, you know, it's, it's, that turbo just flies around 4K, it revs up. I mean, you're, you're there, and as soon as you hit 4K, you're boosting like hard at that point, and it, you just, you just, you're flying. Um, you do see peaks of 29 and it tapers off around 25 PSI um, and I mean like I said it's insane I really did not think it was gonna be like that um, I thought it was gonna be out throughout the power band um, in a sense but I know because our small axles that we have in our car um, you obviously wouldn't tune that because tune it for low end because you're gonna start breaking axles which is why they if you look at their technical specs on why they uh, bring it up through more of the power band around 4k is when you really see the power and it, it's, it's there, it's definitely there. The power is just insane. Um, you know, I mean, not to compare it to other cars, but I will say it's pretty damn fast. It's like a, you know, a little hamster on crack or something just flying through that wheel, but uh, it's, it's awesome. Uh, anyone that has questions about phase three, I mean, your compulsion, like shout out to Toby, that guy, the tuning is amazing that he does for it. Um, never had any issues with them at your compulsion. I mean, like I said, they're always on top of the game. Um, but as far as phase three goes, you know, people say, is it worth it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, if your car, if you feel like your car can support it, you know, with your right mods, like see me, I meticulously maintain this vehicle. I'll do my oil changes before 3000 miles that they recommend. Um, I'll do it like at 25 or a little bit, you know, a little bit, uh, sooner than that, depending on how much I drive and how much I feel like I pushed it because you are, you're spoiling that turbo, you know? Yeah, they might say, well, oil doesn't break down to this temperature. Well, if you're spilling it enough, you know, you're going to have some breakdown of the oil. Like, it can only hold that temperature for, you know, X amount of time. I do use Mobile One. Um, but, you know, it just, it just, oil breaks down. That's just the truth of it. So I try to keep out the maintenance as best as possible. Um, yeah, I kind of had to cut this down. Normally it comes over, but for the lines, it doesn't really fit right. And it starts making rattling noises on the frame, so... I just uh, cut that down a little bit, but um, phase three in general, it's, if you haven't upgraded turbo and you haven't gone phase three, do it. Like legitly, it's 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 great. Um, the gas mileage though, I will say, is not the greatest. Obviously, if you're running more horsepower, don't expect to get good gas mileage out of it. Um, I am running a 70/30 mix, so it's 30% 85 to 70% 91, um, which obviously 85 burns a little bit faster. So, I mean. I'm gonna go through gas a little bit faster, um, but yeah, there's. Uh, I'll, I'll post put up a video of uh, a little run with phase three and maybe discuss on the power band and the, throughout the band on how it performs. Uh, like I said, this thing is a complete beast on phase three. I mean, phase two is fast, like really fast as it is, and now phase three just makes it even crazier. Um, so that's that's pretty much just a heads up on phase three. I mean, not many people have even really talked about phase three as far as like YouTube videos and whatnot. Um, so that's why I'm here to kind of give you guys a heads up and just a little opinion on it. Um, if there's anything I missed, any questions, comments, concerns, just uh, leave me a comment in the description below or the comment section below. Um, as far as if you have any questions on how I did it, there is a couple things I probably left out as far as fabrication goes. Um, you know, as things to get ready for this specific turbo. If you had an ATP or a G pop turbo, yeah, um, there's a little bit of fabrication with the ATP. Um, probably just as much as this one, other than the fact that the whole blow off valve situation. Um, 
but with a G pop, it's pretty much bolt on. Uh, from what my understanding is, and I don't know if this is just from a you know a store aspect, but supposedly this is supposed to be more authentic parts rather than the G pop. Um, so I don't know how true that is per se, um, but so far, I mean, this thing's been a total beast with this turbo. Um, it is a blast performance turbo. I would check them out. Uh, his name's, well, I don't know really exactly how to pronounce his name, isn't it? but I call him G. Um, and he's freaking, he's always helped me with everything. I've had a little issues with shipping and he's came through and helped with that. Um, so I really checked them out. Uh, they could even do like a custom build if you want something even crazier. Um, but I kind of kept it this way to, you know, keep up with the intake that I have now and stuff like that. But I'd definitely go check him out. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. He has a Facebook as well as their own website. Um, yeah, so any questions, comments, concerns, like I said, let me know. Uh, thanks, guys. Thanks for the support. Later.